Hi, all you authors out there. This is Karen Strauss with Hybrid Global Publishing and my friend Sophia Wren, who is an amazing uh, book, book coach. And she'll explain more about how she works uh, later in the program. Uh, but we want to talk to you today about why we think it's really important for all for people especially if you're entrepreneurs to have a book and what it means to your business to your uh, to getting more speaking engagements and to growing your business and getting more clients so welcome Sophia hey thank you for having me my pleasure so uh, it's been fun getting to know you over the last few months I think that we have a lot in common and our entrepreneurial spirit is really uh, I think very much in sync so I'm excited to uh, tell our viewers um, pretty much what's going to be happening with us in the next few months yeah it's really exciting I appreciate getting to know you too we both have that curiosity and adventure and and you know passion for getting things done too. having both sides very much so. Work hard, play hard, yeah. and just be ready for everything. Just be prepared for life throws you curves, um, and and be willing to embrace it and and uh, laugh and laugh. <laughs> that's right. And be grateful for what you have every day because you gotta laugh. That's that's yeah. very true. Very true. Yeah. So so let's talk about books, our favorite subject. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So um, how about we talk about what are the benefits? What do you see in your um, in your work with uh, prospective authors? What, what do you see out there? Why are they wanting to write a book? Well, the thing is that especially if you're a coach or a healer or a consultant of some kind, you know, everyone around the world is connected now, which is a great opportunity but it's also like really hard to make yourself stand out sometimes, you know, it's like you look around and people's Instagram posts and ads and stuff, you know, this kind of starts to look the same after a while. It's really important to make yourself stand out um, for what you have to offer. So that way, if somebody wants what you have, you know, they're going to go pick you out of the crowd and, and also be a good fit for you because it's a nightmare. If you end up with a client, you have to refund or any of that. You want to make sure you're getting somebody who is going to be uh, willing to invest in themselves and your program or what you have to offer and, you know, go the whole way with you, do a year long thing, do a mastermind with you, do a group program with you, do something that's really going to increase your revenue, but also help people. And you want to make sure that they're going to actually benefit from what you have to offer. So a book is an amazing tool for that because it makes it stand out. It's giving a lot of good stuff. So that way the person is primed and ready to invest more in you. They know how much you have to offer. They're loving what they have so far. They know it's not a bait and switch. They know you, you're the real deal. And, um, and then it's something you can easily share with people when you're not around. It's, you know, you've now duplicated yourself. So now you don't have to go and have a two hour talk conversation with the prospective client with the same thing that's in your book. You can just give them your book. And um, and also I'm seeing a lot of authors use their book to then lead into passive income and into enrolling their classes and to really um, getting more speaking opportunities. Um, and when you're speaking, what do you do? You sell your book, you share your book, you use that as the next jumping off point. Absolutely. And, and I, I've been working with a coach and a mentor and and the whole idea is to to be seen and to get noticed. And one of the ways to do that is to have a book and then you can get on speaking stages and talk for if, even if it's 10 minutes, you know, 20 minutes, yeah. 40 minutes you have, you can prepare a signature speech of any length by using the points in your book. And uh, when you speak and you tell your personal story and you tell, you know, how you kind of got where you are. I think a lot of this will resonate with people in the audience and then they will come find you. Trust me, even 10 minutes on a stage with a book, people are going to come find you because all of a sudden you have credibility and authority and then they're going to want to learn, you know, what else do you have to offer? 
what else what else can I uh, buy from you or what else can I study with you it's it's I've seen this time and time again it's pretty amazing mm. and if you think about like you know a lot of people keep the book they're reading like on their bedstand like how intimate is that to be able to be the person that they're looking to right before they go to bed or when they're needing inspiration and to be that close to somebody in their personal uh, life. I that's mean. only slightly creepy, but that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, you know, I mean, oh, yeah, okay. But you're not actually there. It's just your words, your wisdom, you know, is like guiding no. them through life. Yeah, and I can't think of how many people that I've read some of their work and then I really felt this connection to them, I've never met them, but if it was something they were offering that I felt like could really help me, I would have put some big money up for it versus somebody I'm just seeing for the first time on Instagram or we haven't really connected that way. Um, and a lot of times people now are following similar marketing advice as far as social media marketing or other kinds and they just um, all kind of duplicates of each other. And so like being seen, mm -hmm. being, being seen as somebody who's a little different, who has something different to offer and making that jump and putting your book out there is a, such a great way to do that. Cause you will, you'll also, like you said, you'll get clear, you'll have all this content you can reuse. It comes from generating it, getting clear on it and it's going to up level all of your work really. Right. Like, like the dirty little secret really is that people have more content than they think they have and they get very scared about, Oh, how can I write a whole book? But if you're already writing blogs or you're already coaching clients, you know, you know uh, maybe you've written a guidebook, you know, or you've got a methodology, you have a lot of content or you've done videos before. You have a lot of content. You probably have enough content for five books, let alone one. True. It's really just a matter of, of nurturing it and maybe working with someone like you to to really bring, you know, bring your passion out, bring this specific topic out. So mm -hmm. I yeah, wanted I to ask say, you, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I was, I always say that like what makes somebody an expert is that what they know, they think everybody knows. Right. It's that simple to them. They don't, so most people don't realize the genius things they have to say because they're just like, it's self-evident to them. That's because it's their gift. We, I was going to just say that we don't appreciate our own gift. And so sometimes we minimize how valuable that really is. So if it comes easy and naturally to you and you really love it, then you're on to something. And that's what you should pursue because what comes easy to you is going to become, is really hard to other people. And then you can really put your gifts to helping somebody else and after all isn't that part of what we want to do in life we want to help people and make other people's lives better yeah it's really cool and I, and I find when you start to really share what you know then you start to really attract the clients that you know you can share even more and more because a lot of people who are coaches or healers or entrepreneurs they're passionate about something and they have things they think everybody should know or they have things that they feel like Oh, you should try this or you, you know, you need to know this. And, and it's like, what if you could really get that message to people and not just have to condense it into a two sentence thing on Facebook or a little meme that's going to fit in a photo? Like, what if you could really get some juicy stuff and impart that on people and they're going to want more. It'd be amazing. So yeah. uh, I wanted to ask you, you told me recently about a story that with someone that you worked with, um, who's recently blown up and uh, yeah. she had kind of a strategy moving forward of, okay, now she's writing this book. What did she do to really do strategically to create this huge success? Right. Yeah. I'm so excited. And I recently talked to Melissa Fike, who um, her last name is spelled F-E-I-C-K. If you want to look her up, She's an author. She just put out a book um, last August called A Radical Approach to the Akashic Records, which is a spiritual nonfiction book. And she, she wrote the first draft of that about a year before she pressed go on publishing. Um, and once she had the draft, then she hired me as editor. Um, and then we went through the whole book. But she also put some things into place. So that way now she's um, best-selling author, international bestseller, 
still from August, and she's using that book to sell um, an audio recording that's like now passive income. She said she's making a couple thousand a month um, from that, and then those people are also enrolling in her courses online and do it, you know, signing up for one-on-one -on -one sessions with her. And she's always been, um, she had a, she had a good business before this, but now she's, you know, able to tap into the whole world. Um, and as Karen said, you know, Amazon is one of the biggest search engines that we have. So she's getting this huge audience online when before she was more of a local teacher. So it's a huge thing for her. And what she told me is that some keys to her success were after she wrote the draft and she was engaged with me in the editing, she then took some steps to get herself ready. So that way when she published her book, she would have everything in place to really utilize it to grow her business. And she did that by updating her website and making sure that it was really um, tight and expressed, you know, the benefits of her work, what people got out of her work, what she has to offer. Um, I think she updated her logo around that time um, or a little before. She then thought about, okay, well, I'm going to use this to do what? Like what? when people read the book, what are they going to do next? How are they going to then sign on for more of, my work. Um, what else are they going to need? So she decided I can make an audio recording of some of the written meditations I have in the book. And so she linked that into the ebook. So before she had the book published, she got that ready. She found a way to make it all automated so that it doesn't require any time. The money just rolls in. People get the stuff. That's all just easy breezy. And then she decided, okay, and then they might want to get a course. So she did a couple of rounds in person, just kind of getting it together, just like, you know, kind of getting the course idea together. And she expanded on it. And then she decided to make like a sales page on her site. So that way she could sell the course and, and then kind of think about, you know, then we're going to launch the course. And so it, it just one by one, she, she just sort of built something that, um, when she knew, you know, she was kind of acting as if like, as if there's a huge crowd of people who want this book and they're going to be streaming for more from me. What am I going to have to offer? Because the biggest thing that people confuse is they think about like bestsellers or like, you know, I don't know, some famous figure puts a book out and they make a million dollars. That's because they already have a big audience. But when you're an entrepreneur, you're really making money on the back end. You're making it after they buy the book. Um, you might even give away the book for free or, right. you know, pay to ship it, you know, pay to give it to somebody. But then if they read it, you know, maybe 10% of those people are going to say, wow, I'm ready to spend $100 on you, $1,000 on you, $10,000 on you. You're now. using your book as a marketing tool. That's what many of us do as entrepreneurs, yeah. that it's something that allows people to see your brilliance and the way you approach um, a certain subject. And if they like what they read, they are going to be more curious about you. They're going to go to your website. They're going to explore. And maybe the next step is to watch a webinar that you've been doing. And then maybe you have a special offer at the end of the webinar, you know, that, that says, you know, a 30 minute call, come, come talk to me. And now you're talking to this person individually. And, and so it's more about getting people to like and trust you. Um, and once they've been exposed to you, you know, in several different ways, then they might be willing to to um, take a course from you or be coached by you or, you know, yeah. you know, or something like that. So. What occurs to me is that, um, and I think we'll talk about this more in a second, but, you know, me and Karen both see people have trouble finishing the draft of their book and be able to move past that step. And so she did that. And I think it really freed up of her create, you know, her creativity. So that way she could then go put all of these things into motion. So just, just imagine if she had kind of, you know, struggled to get her first draft together over the course of like three to four years and just how slow that would have taken. And then to go try to like update her site, maybe parts of the book weren't even relevant to her business brand anymore. And she would have had to go back and forth. I find that sometimes things just are better done quickly all at once and then everything can more easily be matching as far as your business site your courses everything you have to offer plus this book like if you spend years right. and years and years they say like a business website you know our branding maybe last five years so it's like you kind of have to go quick and just get everything together so it all matches it's all streamlined 
And I just, I think it's good just to have the energy to try to do it. And I spoke with somebody yesterday who pretty much said the same thing, that she'd been procrastinating for a couple of years and, you know, she made up all, she had these excuses, I don't have time, I'm running around, you know, getting children, I have all of these obligations, <laughs> you know, and one thing, yeah. and she didn't allow time for herself to, you know, when she was going to write and get this done, and then finally she just had an epiphany that, you know, this was holding her back in life, in, you know, her business, and even how she felt about herself, and so the confidence that she was not getting kind of uh, pushed back onto her children, you know, that she wasn't mm -hmm. setting a good example for her children. And so yeah. that really made an impact on her. And so she wanted to, now she's ready. She's, you know, a switch turned on and she's ready to get the book done. And as you said, she's going to, she's going to build a website at the same time. Um, I'm a big proponent of launch teams where you can get 20 of your best friends um, or, you know, if you even better, if you have um, associates um, that have big mailing lists um, who can help you. So you can say in three months on September 21st, I'm going to be launching my book. I really would love it if you help promote it um, a, a few days prior to this. I will give you the copy. I will tell you, you know, you can just forward the email um, and I would be thrilled and grateful if you would help me do this. And most of these people are not going to say no. They'll be very happy to help you. And so what is amazing is if you have 20 people who are going to send out an email or put it on Facebook or LinkedIn or, or um, uh, um, Instagram, um, so you're going to have even if 20 people have a thousand people in social media, that's 20,000 more eyeballs, you know, on, on the book, um, than, than you could do yourself. So everything is really comes down to, it takes a village. It takes, you know, a team of people to get things done. And so that's what Sophia and I are about. And we want to talk to you next about a course that we're going to be offering to help you with that first step, let's get the book done. We know you've been procrastinating. We know you've been making up reasons why you can't write or you're tired. I get that. I was there. And, you know, so, so uh, we want to help you get over those hurdles and so that you can be really proud of yourself of what you've accomplished. Yeah, and you'll find that when you do have that accomplishment under your belt, like you're going to have more energy and more satisfaction. Your relaxation time is going to be so much deeper because you're really going to feel like you earned it. And then you're going to give better work, better, you know, mothering, better friending, better working in every area of your life. Absolutely. It's going to be a big burden. It's going to be a big lift off your shoulders yeah. that you're, you're getting this out into the world. And I believe um, particularly women – have a voice, they need a voice, they need help with getting their message out. And I know for me, I know that for you too, that this is a particular passion I know that I have is to help women, particularly in this day and age in terms of what's going on. You know, women need to rally and get their voices heard and be loud and proud and, and uh, let's get going on the book. Yeah, so, let's just do it. Just rip it off like a bandage. Just get it on. Right. And then so, you can make it better after, but just get a first drop done right. and then the rest is history. Do yeah. you want to share with the, or, you yeah. know. Let me go uh, ahead and share my screen. Yeah, we're so. going to talk about um, a little bit about the offerings of our eight-week course. It's called Eight Weeks to Publish Author. Yeah. And, you know, Sophie's going to share the screen and talk a little bit about it. Cool. Can you see my screen? Yes. <clears throat> okay, awesome. So this is on my site, sophiaren.com, and um, there's a little button that says eight weeks if you want to find it later. Um, so if you're feeling a little itch, like maybe it's time for me to finally get this thing done, and you're a coach, consultant, healer, entrepreneur, then this is a great way for you to grow your business, get more speaking events and publicity, use it as a way of marketing to expand your brand so that your clients will be more high-paying clients 
will be more committed. They'll be a better fit. They'll be more excited to work with you. They'll be banging on your door to come work with you. Come visiting all of your um, sites and social media profiles to try to get more information. So um, if you've thought about writing a book, but it hasn't been happening fast enough on your own, then we have a class. It's eight weeks to publish author. And me and Karen are both two, two very experienced coaches, and you're going to have a group of other authors that are all motivated to help you stay motivated, clear on what you want to do, need to do, and hit your target to complete your book in just eight weeks. So you'll have a first draft of your book in eight weeks, and that'll be by the end of the summer, you'll have it in your hand. So here's how we're going to do this. Just going to give you an overview of what you're getting in this course. Um, First, we begin to help you overcome your procrastination hurdle. So teach you to how to make consistent progress, ending and starting, and um, ending the stopping and starting writing cycle. So we're just going to have you go straight through the whole program. This isn't just giving you information. This is actually holding you by the hand so that you actually do the writing with us together. Um, week two, we're going to begin crafting your clear outline so you always know exactly what to write about. This is going to ensure you're going to make faster progress when you do sit down to write every time. You're going to know exactly what you're doing. And you're going to have our feedback on it so that it's really clear and it's going to lead to those sales and things that you want. Uh, week three, you're going to learn how to draw your reader in with enticing headlines and a well-defined de plan for your book's content. Um, and we're going to evaluate your completed first draft of your outline so many writers skip this. This is the most important thing. And especially if you're trying to be strategic about this for your business, it so helps to have other people to give you feedback. You're going to have us. You're going to have the group. You're going to know that when you just sit down to just finish the book, everything is going to be perfect for you to build your business. And then from week four on, um, you're going to just refine your outline in order to begin writing the first two chapters. And we're going to be with you as you write um, – about 10 chapters of your book. So we'll go into that into the next week. Um, we'll see how you're doing, teach you how to develop a customized system tailored to you so you can write your book to completion. We'll share our strategies on how to work through any challenges like writer's block or not having enough time or procrastination as you write chapters three to four. So we're gonna be um, with you as you're writing the book. You'll be checking in with us and um, we'll help you to make sure that you're on track. And then week six through eight, we're just going to continue to focus on producing those chapters, um, making sure you don't get overwhelmed by following our process step by step and being personally accountable by the group. You're going to successfully finish all 10 chapters of your book. And, um, and we have an, I don't have it included in this page, but you do get a weekly Zoom call with us. Um, Every week, you're going to spend an hour with us in the group. We're going to have a Facebook group as well. Um, anything else you want to add, Karen? So, and we're going to we're going to help you talk through not only while you're writing what you we want to prepare you for the next steps as well as yeah. to what you can do with your book. It, it's almost we'll we'll talk you through some of the marketing execution strategies mm -hmm. as well. So um, it's a pretty comprehensive course. We only want to take, we don't want to take more than 10 people, that's for sure. So yeah. because we want to give you individual instruction, uh, we think that 10 people is a great number because there's a lot of energy in the group, but it's not so overwhelming that your voice is not going to get heard. So uh, you know, the, yeah, this is a, a, a good way to, to, to do this. Yeah, because I've, um, I think me and Karen both have been in different programs uh, where, you know, there's so many people that people don't always get to ask their questions, or if they're not really keeping up, then they're just sort of lost in the crowd, and no one's really keeping track of that. So we really want people to feel like they um, are getting a lot of a high touch support from us. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, and we want to have um, make sure everybody knows that we do have a special going on right now. The first four people to enroll receive a special discount. There's only a couple more spots of that left, so if you are interested, now is the time to let us know. Um, 
what you can do is leave a comment here on Facebook or the best way is to email us. We'll post our emails on Facebook for you. But if you don't have time to do that, then leave a comment so that way we can follow up with you. You can leave your email for us to email you or we'll send you a message. Or um, send smoke signals somehow. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> you got in touch with us to learn more about the course or to, to talk yes. with Sophia and myself. We would uh, love to share with you the greater details and the bonuses that we're going to be right. sharing. Right. You'll have to check with us to see if we have more spots left or any more discount spots. And that's just going to depend on when you reach out. So. Um, we'll tell you more once you check in with us, send us an email, leave a comment. Um, and I'm just so excited because I saw, you know, I saw how well Melissa has done with her book and she's really an inspiration and talking to her, you know, she's very humble and she's like, anybody can do this. Just so many people just think it's a lot harder than it needs to be. And she was always really good about getting support from other people to help her. And that's, that's part of why she's successful is she didn't do it by herself. So that's no right. We, it, it, it we all need, including Sophia and myself, we all need help from other people and from mentors and coaches. And, and that's, how, that's how the world goes round. And we would love to be the ones to uh, start you on your journey and help you get your message out uh, because it's so important to have your voice heard. Yeah, get out there, you know, get those clients that are going to need what you have and Use all your wisdom to help change their lives, your life. It's going to be awesome. Amazing. Great. So get in touch with us, um, and we'll be uh, we'll be anxious. We'll be uh, very excited to talk with you about your goals and about what you want to accomplish in this next year. All right. Thank you, Sophia. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right. We will talk to you soon, and we're signing off now. Thank you. Thanks, guys.